one, two, three, go! Hello, everyone, welcome back to another video. So, we are on episode seven of the Trogwog series. Dang, that's one episode for each day of the week, if you think about it. <laughs> so, I just got done filming my Wings of Redemption video, which I think you'll see definitely before this. And something else I've just thought about that specifically Wings and Brennan Schwab have in common is that they always say bud and they always lie. But specifically, they always say bud. And it's, it's, it's so passive aggressive, isn't it? Something about it is just really just annoying. And trust me, when you all think I'm redacted, you are not too far off. When I seen this picture, I was thunderstruck. I thought this was the picture of a chef who was just cooking up dishes. I didn't realize this, this was a new picture. I, I seriously legit thought there was one person putting in overtime to make all these dishes. Oh, that is crazy. But because I mean, look at this picture. It's, it's so weird. I think we all know why it's weird, so I'll I'll leave it at that. So, I've been trying to stay away for a little bit because I really wanted to, you know, see what was new. That's the one bad thing about making video, well, bad, right? Is I try to stay away, but really, staying away from this sub, sub is so hard. I, I looked at this a little bit just to test my audio, and we'll, we'll come back to that. My buddy just gave me bun me sandwich, huh? Like Viet Cong sandwich. Viet Cong sandwich? Okay. There it is. Put... <laughs> oh, snap. I gotta, get, you. I gotta get that. You don't even put that. I was saying in my Wings video just like an hour ago, I've got to come to terms with the fact that when I make food, it does look unappealing. I think good food doesn't necessarily always need to look super good, but when he made menudo tacos, he lost all credibility. How much meat in there? That's bullshit. I don't have soy sauce, but here we go. This meat's cold as fuck. But it's good. It's very delicious. Thank you. So my buddy, who doesn't want to be on camera, Barbecue tacos with sausages, <laughs> Korean barbecue spare rib bones in the taco. What the hell? Why don't you at least remove the bones, dude? Oh, you Gosh, dang it. Thank you. Oh, you son of a. He put on my lap, man. Korean barbecue taco with kimchi. All right, that's Archin, you are so weird, dude. I was thinking, I think today, if you got paid eighty thousand dollars to work for Baba, would you? So you have to live in California. So eighty thousand is probably like what fifty, sixty thousand, like anywhere else. Anywhere else, we're all just like civilians and casuals. I mean, sure, that's like, a, I mean, sure, 80,000 is 80,000, except I don't think California or New York, but not really. But you have to be ex. The amount you get trolled on this sub, I don't think it's worth it. We all have a price we're willing to sell out for, including Snaz for fame. But she just chose the wrong dude. It's that sucks. The diddler. <laughs> oh, that looks just like him, too. That sucks. That's why you don't touch people, especially little you girls. You apologize. So and weird. I apologize bef right. way before then. Yeah. And okay. But then also, but so, hold on, uh, real quick. Oh, hold on. But then yeah. also, let's say, and I'm not saying this in any facet, you and I don't know each other well I at don't all. Any facet? Okay. Oh. So on January 25th, a Trash Tuesday episode is released where Annie and I talk about a nameless comic who hit on us. 
what was said was that there was a guy. He was unfunny. I came back with, oh, that's a big clue. And... Truck walk. Can't talk. But I'm walking to my truck. Can I get a truck walk? Yeah. Because when I came to comedy, I'm, I was a tough sell, man. Still am. Yeah. Oh, my God, bro. This is like being in the worst court case ever. <laughs> I feel like I'm back at the Brendan trial. Yeah. <laughs> It's All like, right, I will say my co Are you guys still harassing him on the internet? No, 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 no. Yeah, I can't stand how you always like, it hurts my feelings more than you know. But if I see you on the streets, well, you better keep that same energy. Like, okay, you are not a hard sell. Rogan easily brought you to stardom. And you fumbled the bag by just being that much of a narcissist ego monster. I think when you were on The Ultimate Fighter, of course, you know, you're on TV at a younger age, you know, you, you get a little ego going, I get it. But for some reason, your ego overtook you. You start thinking you were this amazing dude who could do no wrong. And just like other locales, you lacked self-awareness. A little introspective could have put, could have changed your whole um, perspective. Essentially, it could or tra trajectory. I think I meant to say, but you became a low cow, and once you become a low cow, it's sort of hard to get out of it. Picasso, Picasso, yeah, like, how you mess up all these words? You say you're bad at English. But yet, you have no reason to be bad in English. He has a huge nose, doesn't he? Just saying. He gets plastic surgery on the weirdest things, but yet he won't fix his nose or um, do anything about his crow's feet. I don't know why. I go probably because he's stupid, really. Gatorade. I'll, I'll, I'll see what this is. Okay. I wanted to see this unedited. The origin story of Bapa losing money to Bradley. Let's is this, see. Is this a live Jimmy on Jimmy Rivera is a world champion. champion. He's got a throw. Oh, oh, that's a tough is fucking there like a chat? gig. Can we see the, can I see Oh, the oh, Sean just got hit. Yeah, I want to see the chat. I love you don't want to see the chat. I want to see the chat, bro. Oh, I love the chat. Oh, I'm kid. a streamer. Hey, you this don't want to see the chat. I want to interact with the chat. Oh, dude. Give me the chat. move his head. Oh. Well, don't tell oh, yeah, us yeah. so we can just keep doing our thing. Don't tell us because we just want to keep doing our thing, Bradley. Don't tell us we want to keep doing our thing. I don't heard you. Yeah, yeah. By the, the, the don't worry, chatter. don't worry, don't worry. Don't tell us. We, you're gonna fucking, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna tell us, huh? <laughs> At 125, uh, it's no walk in the park either, Cody. Because yeah, your next fight's nah. against uh, that France kid. You yeah, think? Kai Car France. Kai Car France. Okay. Sucks he has my son's name, but that's good. I know, son of a bitch. I know. He's Kyra. That, yeah. that, you know who's impressive, though, is that kid, Brandon Royval. Roy yes. He's tough, man. He's tough. Yeah. Remember, he popped his shoulder. Oh. Didn't he, this kid's getting lit oh, the shit. fuck up. Yeah, so, I don't get this. Are you supposed to turn this on at the exact moment of a, like of a UFC fight? I know UFC 300 is, like, next week, I believe. So, I'm supposed to watch the fight with my friends. Then I'm also supposed to have this podcast going in the background just so I can hear you go, oh, oh, like, what are we doing here? Like oh, oh done. fuck. Oh, oh, he's showing off he's, now. Oh, he's totally showing he's off. He's twitching on him. Yeah. yeah be careful. He don't get Anderson. Oh, someone. yeah. He's, yeah. What but, happened to but, Dude, it's UFC, dude. This Your first tough. fight? Yeah. Oh, this is tough. Damn. He's got to move his head his off line, yeah, bro. Move your head off line and throw. He's playing with. Oh, he's just taking man. too many shots, man. Yeah. Maybe he's a huge like oh, Billy man. Eilish fan. Maybe that's why he died. <laughs> yeah. <there>. Right? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Sugar's Chat, what up? His Talk to me. Ass up. I feel like I'm on a Twitch stream right now. This is lit. Ah, come on. It's Liddy. As the yeah, kids Sugar's say. movement's so fucking good though. Yeah. You know, he does have you know good tools and reads. You know, he does do that pretty well. And, and he's on Orthodox. Oh my word! This is so boring. I was at my doctor appointment the other day and I was talking to her and I was like, oh, like, you know, 
like she said um she was saying this but i sort of begged the different but i guess at the end of the day maybe she just begs the differ and i kept saying that and eventually she just busted out laughing <laughs> yeah it's just I, I swear no one says anything whenever i say that it's so weird less than 500 views in 23 hours while J jake paul and mike tyson are in the title might need to organize a few more raffles in the shop household very soon. Struggle City. You know, there are times when, Brendan, I do genuinely feel bad for you and ask myself, what am I doing here? But we can say, okay, your ego, your narcissist, you're freaking crazy, you're weird, um, you have PDF friends, um, you are violent, you're angry, you're passive-aggressive. Let's pretend all that doesn't exist. If there's anything that you low-key deserve to get trolls for, it's for your brand name. I, know, I, get, I get it online, we all have weird names, whatever. But for, your, for you to bank on Thick Boy, that is like seriously one of the cringiest things i've ever heard in my entire life thick boy i was thinking today when i was working out whatever happened to thick girl like is that still a thing granted i don't go on shab's website all too often so i don't know if that merch is still available but i know we have to support um our local murderers merch and podcasts because if we don't, you know, this, this is all they got. You know, these these poor millionaires, they have it so hard. We need, we need to buy their merch. That's so stupid. <laughs> their merch. Ari Shafir. Yes. Makes Do you me respect sad. Brendan Shaw as a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, Matt Mitrione and Brendan Show. I think Matt Mitrione was. I, you know, there was some advice I got really early on in my career, and it was do not burn bridges. But now it seems like all I do online is really burn bridges. So I sort of get if Joe Rogan's like your friend, you really don't want to upset um, his boyfriend or offend him. So I, I seriously get that. But to a certain point, you need to have some morals, some standard. And to just pretend like a shop's a funny comedian. I, I get, when you, when you see him in person, he'll probably just be like, What happened? I thought we were going to fight. And it, it took like three girls just to laugh at Brendan to show that it was okay. I get it, you really don't want to laugh at Rogan because, hey, you never know when you're going to be on his show. I probably never will be, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter. One who actually played the most in the NFL. I didn't know the shot one, so. Yeah, I didn't he know the shot. No. He wasn't very good. Much like his podcast hosting ability. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> Worst stand-up special I've ever seen in <laughs> Is really? stand-up special? Yeah. In the loosest that. sense of the word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where is it at Netflix, or? Uh, they probably find yeah, it, yeah. It's on Showtime. Showtime? Yeah, it's on Showtime. Just look for the cover with the full-grown man dressed like Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many more questions question. do we have? Yeah. Number three, do you respect Brendan Schaub as a, com a comedian? <laughs> Can I trade this question no, for two yeah. more questions? No, you cannot. You said yes, and the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Wow! Wow! Sorry. Sorry, right. right, he's your friend. Uh you know, I see, I sort of get it because like, when he's one of your peers and you might run into him, you don't want to needless needlessly bash someone. If for us it's funny, but I could almost see why they all beg to differ, because you never want to burn bridges unnecessarily. So, uh, but to a certain point, I mean, Brendan was just, he is such a hack. He's unfunny, and his passive-aggressive nature, and his stupid little sayings, his habits, like, what are we supposed to do? Uh, I, I'm also surprised. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, like how I told Rogan, I never said he teed off on you. That's not even in my vocabulary. The fact that you lie so much is so crazy. <laughs> Hey, I have no problem with you. I have no problem with you. Remember your career? Fuck you. But if he did, he has to be the dumbest on the planet. I mean, you know how fucking stupid you have to be? Done with me? I believe that was Brendan Schaub who said that. It was what? Brendan Schaub who, who, who made up that conspiracy. Oh, it wasn't Pat Militich? I think so. Well, I, I apologize to Pat Militich then. That makes sense. <laughs> Bye. Stay away from Twitter because these people, if you give them, if, all they're doing is fishing for compliments to themselves so they can feel like something. But as soon yeah. as you don't give it to them, it's it, Brandon Shaw. He gave his opinion on Dana that ate his ass alive like piranhas. It's so dumb. I didn't talk to him about that, but first of all, he's wrong. Yeah, he he's, needed to. He's wrong about the theory. He, he, look, Brendan's my boy, but he needs a handler. Yeah. He needs someone like me around him all the time. What are you gonna do? Duh, 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 duh. Yeah. Here's why. Brendan does need a handler. I, I get where you, you're coming from with Brendan, and then it's like I don't. To me, I don't understand why our community they hate him. In a way, like I, I don't know the percentage, but he gets a lot of shit. If you're spending any time, any time, if you're a busy man, you're a family man, you got you got kids, you got a wife. We don't know why he's hated. Oh, you're being so mean right now, dude. That's not nice. Let's call him. Let's call him. Let's see what she thinks. Not him. Okay, that's pretty dope. I'll be big bomb. I'll be fat hat. Not the fat hat. Oops. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll move on from this. Papa's How to Clean Your Glasses. Video content. Oh, this has no um volume. Yeah, I've seen this before. He just straight up licks... I don't like he eats his glasses. Like, what? What is he... Like, what is that? I have never seen anything like this before. He's like, like he, he he doesn't he loves sticking out his tongue, as we all know. So is he is he that stupid, Mister? I have two degrees, which he doesn't. He doesn't have two degrees. He has a a major and a minor. I have no proof of that, but he's not smart enough to get two majors. No, I, I just want to see Brendan's stuff. Oh, I did see this a little bit. Was Jelly Roll on their podcast lately? Wow, right when... I mean, I think I might have actually seen this one. We... We gotta be smart about some things. It it almost seemed like the pod was like, Oh, Jelly Roll is so cool, like whatever. But then, now that he's on... Now that he actually went back on this podcast, now Jelly Roll is completely blockbuster and always has been. Which, I mean, I get it for sure. Brendan only tried making fun of him for being fat, and yet he still goes on his podcast for some reason. You comedians, you're all so pathetic. It, it is, it's terrible. Yeah, I think he spelled his name wrong. Yeah, Clint's doing great work over there. I almost just can't get... I can't get over how pathetic all these people are, these comedians. It's so weird. Jelly Roll, he legit made fun of you for your weight. And... You, what, you just don't care anymore? I mean, when people talk about best heavyweight all time, I always say Kane. Number one. Yeah, it's just sad, man. It's when, just when you, when, when injuries. I, when, and now I'm talking injuries, but when I'm talking about... If I had to pick one guy in his prime to fight another, like, Fedor, Stipe in their prime, uh, Kane's my number one. Yeah, 100%. Yep. Yep, I would say 100%. But it, it well, if I had to take... Holy shit, look if, at that freaking... If I movie. had to take Kane and Fedor in their prime... That one dude right there in the hat, he looks like that one, like, alpha male dude. You know what I'm talking about? Who, like, always screams about um, being an alpha male. And no, I'm not talking about Brian Callen. <laughs> It would be hard. Not to me. No, it would be hard. Kane. You want to know why? Because the one thing that Kane always lacked was Power. submission defense. And Fedor. Who submitted him? 
No, no, I'm not saying. But but, but, who's but, but think about the guys. That, Good luck taking oh, them no, down. No, Verdum. Verdum. Guillotine. That's how he lost his title. Guillotine. And Kane swollen and bloody. Having a hard time. We've never seen Kane look like that. Guillotine. Guillotine. Let Full him lock it in. Can he get it? He stopped it. He did it. all over. Uh, you know, I'm really not like. Whenever I see these um, chin clips, they always confuse me because I'm not really into like the UFC like that. So when they start saying, oh, he beat him, he beat him this way, I don't even know what they're talking about. Okay. What came first? The thick or thick with three C's? One C's, two C's, don't count. This is all real. Thick Boy Fight Club. Oh, the two C's, so it doesn't do count. One must not only eat like a thick boy, but must also train like a thick boy. Thick elations that, oh my word. Well, we know this isn't Brendan because Brendan said being a thick doesn't mean, doesn't mean you're a, a thick boy. It thick is in here. Can you, honestly, Georgie, you consider yourself a thick boy? There are a few things more cringe than being a thick boy. You all make fun of me for being redacted, but dang, I, I, I couldn't imagine. For real, if you listen to Brennan's podcast, you, can, you legit need help. Yeah, a lot. Can we talk about the first one? Uh, yeah. It was a child carrying a 1875 lever action British rifle, and he was moving in resupply points between this Taliban machine gun position. Well, I didn't know how old he was. Five, six hundred meters, hours of limited visibility. I see a guy with a gun. I shot him. Very rarely do you get to go and see the people you shoot as a sniper. I come and I see this 11, 12 year old kid with a rifle. I have this gun hanging on my wall. It's not a war trophy. It's not even functional. Right underneath it is the CENTCOM permission from the JAG. It reminds me of two things. One is every time I hear a politician say like, why do you need a gun? And the second is to remind me of the cost of war. It's never the way that you want it to be. It's never the way that it is in the movies. It is horrible. I don't want my son to ever have to shoot an 11 year old kid carrying a gun that doesn't even work that's war okay so this dude is part of the rogan verse but i've never heard of him so it doesn't count i i'm almost like i'm not trying to be so negative but the these people are just they're awful they really are proof the world is unfair because they're famous for like no reason it's it's not what you know it's who you know you know rogan and you're famous no matter what i at least have some skills right i don't, I don't know maybe, maybe i'm just maybe i'm just being a little bit of a hater here to me, I got bullied for a full year, and it turned me into He's a fucking. If somebody tried to bully me, I'll show up at your fucking house and kill you. Yeah, and calling someone Baba or B or Daddy, that's why you get trolled. Can you imagine someone calling you Daddy? That's what happens. I get so angry. Mm -hmm. Bully me. If you I know what you're trying to bully me right bro. now, you motherfucker. Know your Hold on, let me handle this. Fuck with me, bro. Look at how my. What do you have to say to me? Oh, <laughs> fuck. Some, you bully me, bro. I don't give a shit about your USC bullshit. Mm -hmm. I will fucking come right at you. Cry. And guess Just what? Just gets the nice Guess what? I will fucking come right to your house. I'm moving my shoulders. I'm going. Right on the side. I'm asking him to do one thing to move on me. Because I want to show him what I'm going to do. Because I turn my body. I'm going. And I go. Now imagine if I let my fist go. I'm doing this right in front of him. Chris is like, if you're going to try to protect him, I'll cut through you like a fucking knife through hot butter. So I'm going to beat you up afterwards. Is that your fist? UFC? UFC? I go, no, I'm gonna fuck you. I'm a guy who fucks you. you, you I'm losing my mind on him. And he fucking went, his hands went up like that. He goes, he goes, he goes, and I Classic. go, I go, mm, can't have that. Wait, were you guys just walking by? Yeah. And he just went, man, I'll fuck your girl. And I stop and I turn. Now I turn back around and I go, you're talking to me now. He is such a wannabe tough guy. It's because he's so small, he's insecure. Ari Shafir, yes. Do you respect Brendan Shaw? I've like, <laughs> seen this. Because even last night, I was just a part of Adam Ray's Dr. Field. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like, it wasn't about me. And that's is. just so cool. When you walk so out there and you look around, and I'm just like, half these motherfuckers don't even know I'm a singer. Yeah. They're just like, who the fuck is this fat dude Adam Ray's bringing out? Is he going to tell a joke? You know? Yeah, I can relate to that. Right. To that. 
oh, okay. So that was a comedy thing. Jelly Roll was like, oh, this big MF or could tell a joke. And Brennan was like, yeah, I can relate to that. Which, of course, he, it's part of him interrupting. Brennan, you cannot tell a joke. The funniest things you've ever said were things you kind of said unintentionally. He can tell a joke. Wait, I thought comedy doesn't work like that. I thought you're not able to tell a joke. <sighs> He's so stupid. Even, I, I get like most jokes, whatever, are like stories. So like, you kind of need to like build up. But of course, every story has multiple funny parts of it. That's like saying to a musician, oh, play a song for me on guitar. And then, and then I'm saying, oh, it doesn't work like that, brother. Maybe you're just not good. First Jerry podcast episode I've watched in years. The BTF does this even mean? Happen in the world, but also, it's got to be overwhelming, man. It's mm -hmm. got to be overwhelming to be a kid and to think you got to worry about climate change and Ukraine and Russia and fucking mm -hmm. Mexicans. It's just every day. It's yeah. something that happened in the world, but also. It's got to be overwhelming, man. It's got to be overwhelming to be a kid and to think you got to worry about climate change and Ukraine and Russia and fucking Mexicans. It's just every day. It's yeah. something that happened in the world, but also. <clears throat> okay. And that mannerism was super weird. I know I don't spend any of my day worrying about any of those things i mean i get people obviously do and that's all like the news whatever it talks about but people that talk about like politics are so annoying and cringe probably just because i'm not interested in that stuff so of course it's an, it's annoying for me but like people act like you know what i'm saying how people are like, oh, the Biden administration's doing this. They're they're trying to manipulate our kids. Um, we gotta do this. Putin's doing this. Like, yo, all that stress is literally going to make your head look like this. Like, I get some maybe some things are a bigger deal than others. And if everyone was like me in the world who didn't care about anything besides um, content, content in b my band. Okay, sure. Someone has to worry about the bigger picture. But, dang. People, yeah, everyone just... I've said this before. You can believe what you want. But the minute or the second you become annoying about it, you've lost. You've lost the narrative. And no one's gonna be on your side, quote-unquote. Hey Dana, you Nostradamus? Calling Bapa's downfall post Rogan push away back in 2018. Dana White. Such an effing tool. What the F does this idiot know about the sport or the business? Um at whoever for you to be listening to one of to one with this moron is a waste of your time. Guy went six and five in the UFC. The only thing he could he could try you is to get KO'd or be better than you. Tune idiots like this out. When he says he's, he's successful, question mark. As soon as Rogan stops carrying him, he'll disappear. Oh, that's true. Unfortunately, he didn't disappear. But this is actually crazy to me because I never knew that Dana, like, um, verbally or writtenly attacked Baba. I've heard before that Dana doesn't forgive or forget. So if he said all of this, then oh he must he must hate um Mr. Schwab more than I at least ever thought. But now Brennan's trying to rewrite the narrative. Oh, I don't hold anything against Dana. So now you're trying to make Dana seem like the bad person here because yeah, if if you don't hate him, Brendan, it must be all fine. It must be kosher. Like a pickle. 
Rashad Parrot's Jelly Rolls 2024 resolutions. Just like a Wings of Redemption, how Wings always repeats what he just said. Like, I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. Brendan, he, re he repeats the same thing. He always parrots people. So let's see. And I was just, I wasn't a great husband last year. Not that I was a bad husband, I just wasn't present. Yep. I'm gone 300 some days. I wasn't a great father. And I was just like, in the middle of all this, I want to have the best year of my career in 2024. I want to be the fucking healthiest I've been in 2024. I want to be the best husband I've ever been in 2024. I want to be the best father. I want to be the, the best mentor. Yep. I want to be the best mentee. I want to be the most financially responsible. I want to be the most present. So you know what I'm saying? Like I went and I was just like, so I looked at March. I was like, we're going to take March off. Like I'm, I'm a, always been a good dad, but I can be a much better dad. Mm. I'm a decent husband. I can be much better. I'm a good decent podcaster. Husband. to be much better. And I was just, I wasn't a great husband last year. Not that I was a bad. Of course, that Brendan, there's the one time that you were willing to say, you know what? Maybe I'm like, I'm not such so good at something. Cause it, yeah, that's so, it, that's such a easy cop out to be like, I'm a great husband could be better. Like, well, duh, we could all, we could, we all could be better. If you said you were the best husband in the world, which I think you might have actually said that before, then it'd be a blatant lie just super weird. A decent husband, a decent dad. N nothing spells decent like cheating on your wife and putting your entire family in jeopardy. Yeah, a b b b beast of a father. Sorry, Tiger, me and mom got divorced. Uh, apparently, she had a problem with me cheating. Yep, beast of a person. And we all hate him just for his free, his free podcast. That Patrick's new tattoo. Total gear had B. Wait, shit. No, that's not his. That's not his. Oops, I accidentally clicked on it. Oh. Oh, since we're here, let's see what everyone's saying. Oh, man, I wish that was him. Okay, see. Oh, it didn't, didn't take us back. Interesting. Shaw was in his feelings for this episode. Ooh, Jack of I think all it also traits. ties into what we're talking about. Hell yeah, my friend, that picture. thing. And the best part was... I hear his manager whisper in his ear. He goes, uh, Paul, it's a young man that I want you to meet. His name's Jelly Roll. And Paul goes, he doesn't see me because I'm behind him. But Paul goes, I know Jelly Roll. And Turner, the guy from Fire and the Kid? <laughs> yeah, is right. that the dude that was on King's yeah. thing back in the back? Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> he goes, there there he is. Shaw brought, right? Come on. Look at him. Look yeah. at that. This is unreal. Look at John is, Bon Jovi. Look at John Bon Jovi. They were honoring him that night for Music Cares. He picked me to sing Bad Medicine. Damn. Oh, yep. Lord. It was so cool. Look, that's us and Sam. I was like, we've been owning yeah, that headline. He doesn't care about the from 2017, dog. What? Yeah, that's old info. on my wall hell yeah frame that picture. thing and the best part was he really does think he found or discovered jelly roll like he wouldn't be successful without him and why is he sticking out his tongue again i hear his he... this dude yep okay this dude honestly is, is stupid about earlier when you're a fuckable That's guy who says. gets pussy the mob is out to get you they hate brendan schaub i think delia True. caught a little bit of that too because yeah. delia oh is... they're all in the same group same with callan they're all yeah. fitter comedians that uh MMA are, are fans. somewhat attractive and they're walking fucking boners yes. as soon as you're a hot rich famous comedian <laughs> you are a fucking target <laughs> totally agree <laughs> that's really what it comes down i mean to. It, yeah. it's just we've seen it over and over and over where it's just like and even like brendan schaub like i mean the, the the fact that a lot of people think that he has money from his family or whatever wait that, they do I, I mean i've seen that floated in his reddit I from time to that. time i have no idea but like bubble -bu beast of a friends i only support the troll community he if i had a whole subreddit dedicated to hating me and my friends were like yeah i i, I go there from time to time i would say why so the fact that they're so fake acting like there's friends and which i mean supposedly he does get money from his dad i'm not really sure i don't know 
but people when people try saying oh we hate him for no reason um how about when he smashed one through a glass window or that don't count how about his complete hater persona that don't count how about when he says things don't count don't count how about the fact that you lie so much so do you beg the different there it's this and i think he borderline knows but now that i think about it since i know a lot of people do project their own insecurities onto others i would be, i'd be willing to bet that this is this is adam 16 that he's the same way he's a compulsive lying narcissist who is insane you don't see shab's fault false because those say that same false you know you you know deep down you have oh that's deep that's why they don't see brennan shab's false because they're the same way and they know it and to point it out for shab would just be like pointing it out in themselves that makes sense to me. Um, I told myself I would um stop doing this or like or stop this episode when the lightsaber died. So we'll just do this one. We'll see. Biggest country music stars should bring in those views. Eighteen thousand. Oh, so he was on. Jelly Roll. I think honestly now you're black, Busta. For doing this podcast where they make fun of you. And. Brett and Shab, 20 more dumbest lies. 65,000 views. Granted, it's two days compared to eight hours. So we sort of beg the differ. I don't get how. How like all these channels, they're, they're, getting, they're getting so many views. Probably because their commentary is better than mine, let's be real. But hey, I'm trying here, right? Great novel. Yes. About someone yeah, else's one. experience, someone else's yes. life. It sounds like a little thing. It's so fucking Give important. Give you perspective. You'll learn more about life. But, but I think too, Jelly, where I connect with you, like it's, we're on the same vibe. Like same thing last year, just hustling, hustling, hustling. And I stopped and I was like, I, I don't like who I'm becoming. Because everything, and I don't know how to balance everything. it. Like I didn't know what to do. I had to call my manager Lex, you know, who's been with you for 17 years. I told him, I said, I don't know what to do, Doug. Like, I'm, I'm a, always been a good dad, but I can be a much better dad. Mm -hmm. I'm a decent husband. I can be much better. I'm a good podcaster. I can be much better. Right. And I, my you car stuff, the merch, better. the stand up. I was like, some, I'm about to break, Doug. Right. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Spread so, so thin. So we just spread too thin. Yeah. Spread too thin. It'll get you. So I just, I just himself. pulled back. Yeah. I was like, let me, let me chill for a second and then analyze and tr try to figure this stuff up and then get back to it. And since I've been off the road, like never been in better shape, never been a better dad. Like I coach my son's baseball oh, team, yeah, football team. Here, what is now? Oh yeah, Probably. he's on spring break. Yeah. Like I've never been happier yeah. because it's just to your point and yours is on a much grander scale. Shut up. Oh, look at this. No one does it better than Lee Schaub. I beg the differ. Let's see this hey, really B. quick. How excited are you for our guest today? Hey, B. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. One of my best friends who happens to be the face of country music right now. He's hey, B. How excited are you for our guest today? Pretty excited. <sighs> so, she, we all are a sort of, I'm going to say parrots of our own environment. Products. There we go. We're all products of our own environment so it does so it makes sense for sure why she starts saying b i think i am gonna need a break from all this it just hasn't like i need a little break from wings of redemption because i can't stand his his stupid mannerisms his constantly banning people his complete stupidity it is just so infuriating. 
I think I'm starting to get physically sick from all this Brendan Schwab podcast or content. Sorry if I was being a little bit negative. It's, it's these people, they just constantly lie. They have these this huge ego. They think they're better than us civilians. To a certain point, it's hard not to break because as a normal civilian casual, I can't relate to having such a huge ego. Everyone, I'm probably going to lay low for a little bit. <laughs> but everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like episode 7 of the Trugwog series. Consider liking and subscribing. It really does mean the world to me. And maybe if you want to follow me on my Patreon or OF account, that might be pretty cool because, well, these episodes, they come out first on Patreon, like, pretty early, trust me. Like, earlier than YouTube, so I think it's worth it. And also, some other stuff, if you catch my drift. Thank you so much, everyone. I really hope you liked episode 7. I'll catch you all next time. But... But first, actually, remember, you are loved and appreciated. I'll catch you all next time. But until then, High Stakes Games signing out. See everyone. Have an amazing rest of your day.